Hey guys, Mr. Kyle at Myers Mathematics, September 28th, the 24th out of 25 videos, second to last one. We're almost out of the out of the numbers. So I said I was going to go um, at the beginning of the series from um, the middle number, right? So the middle number over here being a, uh, a 1, right? Positive or negative 1, um, all the way to a 10. And we're now on the tens, and then letting the the last numbers go anywhere from negative twenty to twenty, right? So those numbers have ranged anywhere from negative twenty to twenty, um, not including zero, um, because then it would be a totally different factor. It would just be a lot easier if any of them were zero. So just no no zeros for B or C values um, for you know more math reasons. But um, yeah, so there's four videos or four. Uh, questions to answer today. I always say videos. I'm stuck on that, that term for using that. Um, but no, four, four things. So x squared plus 9x minus 10, x squared minus 9x minus 10, x squared plus 10x plus 11, and x squared minus 10x plus 11. So let's just jump right in. We got x squared plus 9x and a minus 10. All right. So if this is your problem here, in order to factor we have to do something. We have to take the last number and get factors of 10 that add or subtract to give me 9. So if I want 10, I can't just multiply positive 1 and positive 10. One of these numbers has to be negative. So let's just make the 1 negative. Why not, right? Let's see if it works. Um, and obviously, if it doesn't work, then you can change the signs, make the 10 negative and the 1 positive, and see if that works. But it looks like this is going to work. Negative 1 plus 10 is positive 9, right? So that works, check. And then negative 1 times 10 is negative 10. So second check, right? I only need those two checks because the x squared is just going to happen, right? Um, now, whenever there's a number in front of x squared, that's a different story. But um, I think I'll do another series on, on that, those sorts of factors another time. But anyway, so we're done. That, that's it. Now, what I like to do. Um, and if you've watched any of these factoring videos so far, you know um, what I do is, what I, I basically do is, it's sort of, uh, it's either clever or lazy or both, I don't know. But what I do is I put an X in front of my, my thing, right? So I leave space when I, when I take factors of my number there. And then I just throw X's in front and throw parentheses around it, and then that's the answer. Right, so that's it. That's all I do, all right? So for the next one, it's gonna be really similar. It's just gonna be with a minus. Right, minus 9 instead of plus 9, so minus 9x minus 10. So I already know 1 and 10 are going to be factors that work here. Um, but now I know that I need to make the 10 negative, right? Because I made the 1 negative last time, and now I need a negative 9. So positive 1 minus 10 is negative 9, check. And 1 times negative 10 is negative 10, check. Throw an x in front of each one, and I'm done. So for the last two here, x squared plus 10x plus 11, x squared plus 10x plus 11. Okay, well, 11 is prime, so there's only, um, did I do that? Was it plus 11? Maybe it was supposed to be minus 11, because plus 11 wouldn't work. Maybe I wrote that down wrong. Yeah, I think I meant to put plus 9. Because plus 9 would work, but plus 11 would not work. Hmm. Interessante. Because I always start with pluses. So, to give you a little insider, uh, to cover up for my, my blunder here, what I do is I go through this, uh, it's, it's, it's called a brute force algorithm. If you've watched any of my videos, you might have heard me say that before. It's something I really love. Um, because it's it's basically just, if you if you do every possible option, eventually, the option that works will work. Um you know, in, in less words than that, or more words than that, I suppose. Um, so yeah, so whenever I start off with a new digit, so I went from nines, right? I went from nines to tens. And whenever I do that, I start off with uh, my pluses and then I do my minuses last. So that should have been a plus nine, not a plus 11. And that way I can actually factor it because that would be helpful because one and, uh, and 11 are not gonna, if I, if I made it minus, it would work, but I start with my pluses first. So sorry about that. 
Let me fix that. So that's going to be a plus 9 then because 9 is going to work. Positive 11 won't work. All right, so let's just go ahead and throw those factors in there. 1 and 9, all right, possible options. I could also try 3 and 3. But 1 and 9 work because 1 times 9 is 9. And 1 plus 9 is 10 plus plus x and x. So then I have my last one in here, right? So x squared minus 10x plus 9. So it's going to work the same way, except now I need um, a positive um, to change to a negative. So minus minus negative 1 times negative 9 is still positive 9, but negative 1 plus negative 9, aka negative 1 minus 9, however you want to say it, that's going to give me minus 10. So I throw x's in front. And I'm done for today already.